it goes in and out sometimes depending on what's going on. <clears throat> good, good. All right, sweet. So yeah, like I said, it's a city builder. I'm going to have to move you guys somewhere. Actually, it's only this menu where it kind of covers it a little bit. It's fine. But yeah, so um, the idea of it, well, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I'll just show it to you guys. I'm not doing like a, this is how you play type of thing. I'm not going to be playing hard because holy fucking shit, that, it's, it's tough. I'm going to go easy. So we have long, lovely summer, short and wild winters, and less raiders and dragons. <clears throat> so the raiders are... You wish to play, but this is... But this be my game now? What? What are you talking about? The pillow fort? <laughs> uh, the raiders are Vikings. So we'll do that. Um, <laughs> when you first load the game, it... Uh... It has inverted scrolling for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, so... What we want to start with... Oh, I see. Bugging skill is your game. Yeah, and then you get beat for it. Disclaimer. Skill does not beat his girlfriend. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so what we need, this land right here are bare, is uh, barren grass, so you can't put any crops or anything like that on it for farms. <laughs> um, this lighter green you can, and then the darker green uh, gives it extra production and stuff, or output. And then we also need to be close by stone. So actually, over here is kind of a good spot to start a little kind of thing going on. Uh, because we can put like our keep over here, have the gardens and whatnot over here. There are ways to bring water to the barren areas and also just make that better. But we need to keep our houses away from the stone. Oh, and there's also iron down here, which is pretty good. Yeah, iron is the darker, I don't know, it's a brownish color while the stone's just a gray. So I guess that's iron as well. Um... Even over here is pretty good, just not a lot of iron close by, if any at all. But anyway, there are certain conditions you have to put your houses in and whatnot. Uh, and your citizens have to have those conditions to be happy. <clears throat> and one of the negative ones is to be too close to an industrial area, like a mine or even a blacksmith, I believe. Pixel map, yes. Uh, they've been updating this game for quite a bit. Um and whatnot they add fish so there's a fish the fishery you can get and whatnot but um everything like that but let's let's kind of scroll through and see what we can get this one's actually pretty good if we <clears throat> also you could get a forest forestry or forester you want to get ice cream oh dude all right sounds good tell us what you get um yeah, forestry where you can put it down and they just start growing the trees and chopping them down, all that good stuff. <clears throat> so, over here is actually pretty good because then we can have farms here. Farms have no negative effects being in industrial areas that I'm aware of. Um, I haven't seen any issues. We could even start here and then just gradually make our way to iron. Ice cream, yes. <clears throat> I could go for some ice cream right now. Um, oh, and then this is Witch's Hut. Sweet. Okay, I guess I have ice cream in the freezer. Sweet. A pint of uh, Ben and Jerry's. <clears throat> uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Bruh. Yeah, right? Thank you probably didn't hear me he has noise cancellation headphones and it's annoying trying to get his attention <laughs> yeah <clears throat> anyway so oh yeah and then also um don't forget i'm a twin and my bro is here so if you want to say happy birthday to him you can he's shy <laughs> they have a gallon of mint ice cream bruh really mint's okay yeah mine's mint cookie skillet says happy birthday thank you skillet 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. He says thanks. You left your caramel one back at home. Happy birthday, twin. Yeah. Yeah, we do look a lot alike, but we do sound different. Also, another reason why we sound... I mean... Woke up... I woke up kind of nasally, so that's another reason why my voice is kind of eh. But at the same time, yeah, we do sound a bit different. Now he's blocking the cooler. For like two minutes. For two minutes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the oldest by six minutes. So that it, it has no consolation at all. There's no pride in it. It's just the way it is. Anyway. Um Let's let's keep scrolling through and see what we can get. So I have it on random. There are there's land and islands. The islands are more of I mean obviously like an archipelago kind of idea. He wishes to freeze. I mean, and also the thing too is that like literally that cooler is the only thing keeping this apartment at a somewhat moderate temp temperature. So like if anything blocks that thing, even this room itself with the cooler in it gets fucking hot as hell. And also it's been humid the last couple of days. To so Utah standards, been deep, pretty humid. Um, and so it just feels like a greenhouse. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's going to play a game with my dad out in the front room, so. <clears throat> Let's start here. This is actually pretty good. We'll, yeah, we'll start here. I like open areas to start building my, you know, kingdom, just because it, it makes it so much easier for a start, rather than trying to figure out where to put stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a good one. And then we could, like, build bridges or, uh, they're more like docks, I guess, that you could extend between land stuff and get to that iron. <clears throat> oh, and there's another iron there that we could actually have easier access to. Yeah, we'll start here. Yeah, and also another thing I'm trying to do with this stream is something different than what I normally do is actually sit and... You want to see the kingdom? Hold up. Hold up. Let me explain what I'm doing here. <laughs> You'll see it in a minute. And we and I'll let you guys pick the name of it. So think of names while I explain what I'm trying to do with this stream and potentially future ones. Now I'm alone in this house again. Yay. Uh, bring out the porn stash, right? This kid skillet. Anyway, so <clears throat> um, what I'm trying to do is kind of take the games a little bit slower so I have time to actually sit and talk to chat. And if they have any questions, as something comes up, I can reply to it rather than having them have questions for something I did, you know, three steps behind, you know what I mean? I'm just kidding, Pastel, good God. Anyway, so, <laughs> love you. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I'm not rushing to get into, you know, into the game or anything like that just explaining talking to chat and also to be honest i don't have this many people talking usually so it is nice to be able to actually talk to people <clears throat> and that kind of stuff so yeah uh, this isn't this is just the one land or the continent whatever so as far as being able to have different districts and whatnot that um i've seen some people have they have their keep obviously and then you expand from that and then you can have like different areas with all the different industries or marketplaces and stockpilers all over the fucking place and have like different districts and all kinds of stuff. So it's fucking ridiculous. I'm not that good at this game, but I I take it slow and nice and easy. Anyway, so first of all, Norwegian flag all the way. I don't even think I might be Norwegian. I probably am. All Vikings are related. All right, what do you want to name the kingdom? <clears throat> but yeah, we'll be starting here, probably having to keep more over here and building houses off in this direction and kind of in this way. Because if it does get too close to this, they'll be unhappy and then the happiness drops. <clears throat> hmm, um, ba -da -da -ba -da. 
I don't even have my phone near me, but I actually have a uh, naming app where you can name towns and shit like that. It's got some pretty cool names with it, but I'm going to have you guys participate. Bravo Kingdom. <clears throat> Delagor. Hmm. Her. Her. Kingdom of Gore. Okay. Blood for the Blood God, I guess. Yeah. Right? We're... No. Not as bad as Slanesh with the Dark Elves. Yeah. No. None of that. <clears throat> Alright, a couple more and then I'll pick. Depending on how many there are, I'll probably roll a dice and then... Yeah. Yeah, sorry if the music's too quiet. Um, once we get into the map, then I'll actually increase the music and whatnot. Because it's it's nice music. Heston Dynasty. Dynasty? But this is like knights and stuff like that. Dynasty is more of... I mean, I understand that, you know, knights and things like that with the samurai and the Vikings even happen at the same time, history-wise. So it's kind of meh, but... <clears throat> Heck... Hekokar Empire. I, I actually like that. Or Hekokar. Hyonk Hyonk. The Hyonkening. Alright, let's do... I think I did that right. Yep, okay. <clears throat> Let's, uh, settings. And it gets abruptly loud, too, which is kind of another thing that's sort of, meh. Um, I'm turning advisors off because during certain times, they are fucking annoying as hell. <clears throat> Let's turn the that up to max so that we can get as quickly as we can. So it shows here what's around. So we got iron, lots of stone, actually. So more iron over here. Um, <clears throat> iron there. Where's the witch's hut? So over here is a witch's hut. <clears throat> the game doesn't officially start until you actually set put down your uh, keep, which is fine so that you can, you know, look around, see what you want to do. So I think I'll put the keep around here. Uh, yeah, put the keep around here. <clears throat> And then we can have stone going over here, and then also forestry around here, so then it could just do the same kind of thing and leave them in the same area. The Hyonkening has begun. Indeed. You know, R to rotate, all that good shit. <clears throat> uh, let's put it up here a little bit more, actually. I'm trying to give our houses enough room. I mean, we've got plenty of room going, you know, down. And then to the side, not so much. Yeah, let's do that. Dude, my luck today of finding diamonds is nuts. What? Bro. <clears throat> so that's our keep. Uh, there are fire risks in this, so we have to build wells and whatnot. These are our mm. citizens. Oh, no. Hold up. There we go. Here are little people. Ah, shit. There we go. Little people. You can click on them. And also you could... Uh, oh, I thought you were able to rename them. I guess not. In the cave by our storeroom. Two exposed diamond patches. Really? Nice. But yeah. Uh, people can die of age. And whatnot. So that is something that we have to be worried about in the future. We've got different categories and whatnot. Town build a road because they need a house as you can see let's build all the roads roads we can down here shows your population how many beds you have you have to build more houses hey lack how are you doing i'm doing good today's my birthday 28 um yeah just enjoying some the chill kingdoms of castles game 
Um, and then our beds show there. <clears throat> and whenever there are people not doing jobs, obviously they stay idle. And yeah. Oh, we don't have enough wood for another ho uh, another uh, hovel. That's what it's called. Thanks, Slack. Oh, be right back, guys. I need to move my chair real quick. <laughs> no, it wasn't the flex super ginger, I swear. <clears throat> I mean, I have everything razor to be fair, except for, you know, uh, monitors and such like that. But that's going to be in the future. Don't worry. <clears throat> I enjoy razor. If people don't like razor, it's fine. I don't want to get in an argument about it. Anyway, so now we need to get wood. See, the problem about having a place like this is that the wood is kind of far away. Ah, oh, French Fry also does? Sweet. He's a fanboy. Hey, don't don't talk shit on the fanboys here. <clears throat> but yeah, so they're going to get us wood. Here are our resources. we got wood, stone, charcoal, food, which is another thing we actually need to uh, get going as well. This is iron tools which the blacksmith can use and also improve other um like resource like self-proclaimed fanboy <laughs> it wasn't this okay i see um you can upgrade the different workers tools and whatnot in general uh armaments for your warriors and whatnot in the future and then gold which we need uh quite a bit of stone and a bit of wood for it as well so let's when they bring back the wood we need to build another hovel so that we can have more population cap because every year that it rotates on uh there's a chance of people like over here there's a chance of people visiting and then also staying let's actually extend this a little bit more <clears throat> if there's anything to hear but can't hear anything of the game. Yeah, like, the music cuts in and out. It is very annoying. There we go. If it gets too loud, then I can turn down to my ears, personally. You got ice cream on your mic? Looks like a tiny frog from far away. I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the point, actually. And I'm not going to ask how, but I am curious if that actually <laughs> means anything at all. So we have a stockpiler now, so they're going to go and get the rest of the wood. The fluffy bit? What'd that, what'd that mean? The fluffy bit? <clears throat> oh, you got ice cream on your mic. Oh, I read that wrong. I thought you meant like you got... <laughs> I... In my head, I thought you actually ordered it through your mic, as in, like, you used Google Voice and be like, hey, I'd like to place an order. <laughs> don't, don't ask even how I thought of that. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than what happened in my head. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. All right, so let's uh, try to expand out a little bit more since we will probably be getting more people in, and then we can start building farms one off to the side. Amazing, right? <clears throat> oh man so our happiness of the people are eh, not the best yeah if I, had, if I had advisors on he'd be this dude over here would constantly be saying hey build farms oh I guess not they're, they're happy okay never mind they usually bitch and moan about it the whole entire time so you know wow Lack, thank you so much for the tier one sub six months in advance. Wow. 
Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <clears throat> um, okay, our stone's over here. I need to focus the stone over here. Right? <clears throat> Actually dropped some chocolate on the floor, bet down, and picked it up in doing so, smushed the ice cream man against the mic. <laughs> uh... All right, so we got max amount of people. A hovel can hold up to uh, five villagers. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so we need to start building over here because um, our, our uh, people can catch on fire, obviously. Uh, but we need stone to make wells, so we need to head off in that direction. As I've said like five times right now. Oh, right there. <clears throat> like Sims. Black! How many is that? Black! Dude, thank you so much. Ten gifted subs? Black! Bro! I don't have any emotes yet, but that's... That's... We need three more, I think, and I can start getting my emotes going. <clears throat> Thank you. It goes uh, to Jacob Eno, Skillet, Cartel, Kitty, Yenny. I need to pause that so it doesn't keep scrolling in and out. Barbarian Sasquatch, Flamed Rook. Oh, Inflamed Rook. Roddy and Pastel. Damn. I don't know why the game kept on scrolling even though I wasn't doing anything. <clears throat> Man. And another tier sub to uh, Kizmota. Thank you so much. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. I, I mean, I, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much. <clears throat> He will do it. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh. <clears throat> that that just made my day. Thank you so much. <clears throat> it's probably made my my week, my month, my year for the most part. That's just amazing. Um, okay, wow. <laughs> Game. Um, Alright, so we got seven idle people. Let's have them uh, build roads. Skillet! Three gifted subs. Thank you so much to Cell, Nerima, and Variax. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Yes, the Veeple! Hey, Super Change is also one of the people. Hey! I know those names. Yes, you do. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, now, Skillet be wanting to join on the loving. I mean, you know, it's it's nice when you don't ask for it and it just happens. You know what I mean? Like it's you. Yeah, I knew. I know in. Uh, inflamed rook from you actually so yeah small community it goes in a circle it works out right so another thing about this game is that uh, your city limits are based on oh I need more wood are based on like where your roads are at so if I were to try to place uh, something else down let's see like a quarry well I mean I can't uh, hold up I can't even do a farm. I'm out of wood. Hi, Jackson. It's okay, bud. Come here. Hi. Hi, buddy. How are you? The cat got scared from my brother's chair, so he ran in here. Huh, bud? Hit in the closet for a little bit. <clears throat> okay, bud. All right. Let's 
Let's have... Aw, oh, Meg, thank you so much for the 30 bits. Oh, you're good. And thank you. I appreciate it. Any happy birthdays that you say, I will also uh, relay to my brother. You put meds on your desk and it's tiny? Oh, no. And thank you, Skillets, for the tier one gifted sub to Meg. I was going to say Pepsi Girl, but let's call her Meg. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got some more wood. We've got a lot of idle people. We don't have many farms, though. So we, let's uh, extend this out a little bit. Build a farm. Like I said, in these barren, barren areas, you can't place any crops or anything like that. But these green areas, we can. <laughs> can't see it. Hey CJ, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's my birthday, so I've been uh, enjoying it, playing games with my friends. <clears throat> or, you know. Yeah, Meg, Meg jumps, in, jumps in quite often when she can. How are you doing, CJ? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. I've, I mean, I haven't seen you in a while, as and I haven't jumped into your streams in a while and said hey. But uh, yeah, hope you're doing well. I'll get this end, dude. Just chilling, you know how it goes. Yeah, definitely. How did your stream go today? <clears throat> I've seen that you've been doing some Ark uh, survival for a bit, and thank you, Super Ginge, for the hundred bits fanfare sound. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's get this moving. <clears throat> All right, so in order to get the quarry, actually we can do it right now. Oh, it's actually also in the, uh, I hate they also invert the uh, scrolling bit as well a little bit. It's good, man. Got to the point of having industrial forge working on getting more trans and stuff ready for taming. Oh, okay. During 20 days of arc till New World comes out on the 20th. Awesome. <clears throat> I haven't played much of arc, but yeah, that's that's really good stuff. Glad you're enjoying it. All my little dudes are like, oh, we're trying, we're trying, chug, chug, chug. Uh, they're chug a lugging. Anyway, so we got also a job priority. We can uh, switch things up if we want. But everybody's moving to the building, so we're not going to be producing any food or even have, well, the stockpiles aren't even really doing much. So I guess a couple of the farmers, actually all three of them went to get the wood anyway. So they dropped off what they could and now they're heading back here. So that's good. And also you can untick things if you want, like if there's a, a building or a project that you kind of don't want to have done at the moment, you could just, you know, untick it and they won't work on it. I'm trying to get one of each boss defeated before New World, but it's hard. Oh, I bet. <clears throat> For sure. Oh, you're good. You're good, Meg. <laughs> Back to lurking. All right. Stupid training, but have fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, we need um, some things to increase the happiness of our people. What do you want? You need water and charcoal. All right, we can get you those in a little bit. <clears throat> our next big thing is the forester. So we need five stone for that. And also a stockpile so we can kind of have it in the middle here or even over here so that they can spend their time, you know, just delivering it here from what we're getting and then taking it wherever they need to eventually we're going to be getting markets and whatnot to kind of have that is cam stream lagging a bit for anyone else or just me i mean it sort of has a lag of its own anyway it's 720 30 fps so it's it has its moments 
<clears throat> but uh, you know. Occasional freezes, but nothing too bad. Yeah, it's it's not the best, and also, um, yeah. It, I mean, it, it was free, pretty much, except for the, uh... Yeah. To my broski. Yeah. My twin. So, any birthday wishes, I will also relate to him when, when, uh, when I can. Mic sounding crisp, though? Thank you. I've had this mic for a while. Actually, it's been a year that I've had it. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I, I really like it. <laughs> and thank you, Super Ginch, for the host. I appreciate it. <clears throat> oh, they're still working on the quarry. Come on, guys, hurry up. I got it. Oh, you're good. You're good. I like getting the notifications. You're fine. <clears throat> so I think when we're done with the quarry, um, build more farm. We'll probably build a hovel first, build more farms, and then we can have the new people build the forester, and then those people can take the job of the forester. So that's kind of how I've been doing it. It's like as a new big project comes up, especially something that needs... Oh, you're hungry? Fuck. How negative are we? Negative four. Eh. Okay. So that's done. Nice and cool in your old room. Good. We can also build orchards, which I think produce more food. And also they can't be flooded by the rain, which is nice. But I'm working on these little farms for now because we can eventually get windmills that uh, help, pro help produce these even more, which is always nice to have. So it's good. <clears throat> Oh. Yeah, it's starting to warm up here, actually. I might have to turn up the cooler, which makes it louder. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Grape orchard so they can have wine and get drunk. Uh, we could get a tavern, actually. Eventually, it increases the happiness in a certain radius. Alright, how much is a well? Ten. That's our first thing, though, to make these guys happy. <clears throat> and honestly, I think uh, whenever they just do the orchards, it's like apples or some shit like that. You can't change the crops at all. A similar game like this that's a bit more realistic, um, and you could actually... There's a an economy in it and whatnot. It's called... Um, uh, I just had it in my head, and I forgot what it is. Jack Septic Guy played it. Banished. That's what it is. Banished. It's the same idea as this, but a bit more realistic. <clears throat> so now we're getting a surplus a little bit, which is nice. Alright. So we got two more people moving from the quarry over to the farm, which is good. <clears throat> no drinks for you. What do you mean? As in you just don't have any, or... I'm guessing it's just because you don't have anything to drink. Um, small stockpile. Uh, nah, we, we need certain things first. Can actually... Yeah, let's get the hovel. <clears throat> and then we can get some more wood. Is there anywhere closer? I mean, I guess this is actually somewhat closer. Yeah. That no exists here and you don't get an upset tummy? <clears throat> Alcohol does that to you? Well, I mean, if you have a lot of it, I can see that, but... Alright, so we're getting a small surplus of food, so nobody's actually going to be starving at the moment. <clears throat> which is nice. And also, I don't know how the... I think what it is, obviously, the harvest be happens before winter and any food that is left out spoils. Oh, you'd be full from sushi. Ah, I see. Makes a lot of sense.
Yeah, it's alright. Corey stopped for a second so that we could build that. Fancy, yes, definitely. What kind of sushi? I forgot to ask, actually. What kind did you get? <clears throat> so now we can have 15 people and then um also when you get to a certain level it's kind of like a city skylines when you get to a certain level um it you just become like we're quiet hamlet and then it's going to be like a village and then it increases from there tempura bagel roll Never had it. I'm actually, I like sushi, but I've never actually just gotten sushi just to get sushi. I've had it a couple times just to try it. Uh, one of my favorites actually was our mom when we were kids took us to a uh, Chinese place at a wall, uh, mall strip, like a strip mall or whatever, called the Gateway up in Salt Lake. But the uh, place was called Typhoon. They're not They're not there anymore. I'm, I'm extremely bummed that they're not there anymore. I haven't been there for a while, actually. But, um, basically fried outside with avocado, cream cheese, salmon, and something else. Nice. But speaking of which, speaking of avocado, they had a shrimp avocado uh, sushi kind of thing. I forgot what it was called, but it was, it was really good. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it was good. Good shit. <clears throat> All right, so we can have a well. Let's put one here first. Obviously, how all the radius stuff works is the closer you are to the well, the hap you know, the better, and then less outside. And you have to have those fucking everywhere so that nothing actually just you know catches on fire. One thing that I like about this game too is that there's no day and night cycle, so everybody just keeps on working. All right, after that, we need the Forester. Which we can have him kind of up here and be a little more isolated. Kind of. Or we could place him here so he has a bit more room to actually grow the trees and whatnot. Let's see how many, f if we got fish around. We got some over here. A lot over here. And some over here. We can actually build... So I'm planning on having this area be farmland. And then over here, attached to this road, we can have the fishery and whatnot <clears throat> attached to that. All right, we need treasure room to unlock the advanced uh, castle or advanced town bit. Yeah, and a treasure room requires 10 wood and 50 stone, which can take a bit. There might be room here. We could actually put a second quarry there. Eventually, anyway. <clears throat> you like fishing sometimes? I I like fishing. I used to go quite a bit when I was a kid. Um, obviously, I haven't in recent years. Alright. You two folks, let's send you wood chopping. Oh yeah, and there's also there are also wolf dens. <clears throat> uh, we'll eat we'll eat anything that comes near, except for peasants that work at as a forester, uh, can be killed by soldiers. Only ever went fishing once. It's it's good fun from what I remember. Obviously, I didn't catch anything. I think there was one time when I almost caught a pike, but uh, yeah. It got away. <clears throat> now these houses are better. They've got their water. So they're happier. A little bit. Now they need charcoal. Obviously for the charcoal we need wood. Or the porcupine puffer fish. What? Well I guess. They'd be adorable and I wanted to keep them. Well puffer fish are poison. Like they're poisonous. You know that right? Most of them are, anyway. Hmm. 
But also, I guess it's because you're like in Florida where you get that kind of fish. Obviously, we don't get shit like that over here. We have inland lakes and, well, I mean, we have lakes and whatnot. We don't have, we're not near ocean, obviously. We're in Utah. Fuck. It's in the, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. You don't catch to eat? Well, I, I know that. I'm just saying in general, like they've got, you know, exterior things that are poisonous. You know, when they poof out. Oh, and then also on my comment about um, doing this, taking the streams a little bit slower, the game slower, you know, allowing to talk, talk to chat and stuff. Um, I'll be taking more breaks. That's another problem that I've been, that I realized that I have done in the past with streams. Is that I only take like one break for five minutes and then I blast for, you know, just stream for four or five hours. When uh, I actually need to do, you know, walk around and stretch a bit, a bit more often, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so in between each game, I think I'll be doing that. Okay, right. we got enough wood and such. We can build a forest, uh, let's actually build, let's get some roads down here. <laughs> and now that we don't have a stockpile either, they're all stored in the keep. Off here on the side. So all the food, stone, and wood are over here. I hate how they invert the uh, rotating as well. It's annoying as hell, but it's alright. Because it's Q to go right and then E to go left. Very, very, very annoying. Alright, Forrester. Oh, must be nearby trees. Right, to use. Right, okay. That fucked up my plan. Wondering about finding a passive stream engaging game to stick on so I can take 10 minute breaks every now and then. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. For me, I don't know why, but it's like I think, like, I feel like I always have to do, like, engaging, like, action-ish type games or, you know, things like that to kind of keep the audience engaged and whatnot. Something the chat can interact with while I'm away. Oh, yeah, I can see what you mean. But, like, even just the game in general, sometimes it's just... Yeah, it's... It, it's a weird balancing act, for sure. All right, so we need to get closer to trees. I mean, these are pretty close, but we don't have any way of actually... Um, building our way past it. I think it's with this one that we get it. Fuck. Alright. Next smart area to probably do it would be over here then. I mean, or even down here, but I want to have this area be housing. Yes, there's stone and such, but you can make little neighborhoods and have it be around that much for that. So let's actually build another hovel. Actually, let's build two. As long as the farmers are still working and whatnot, I'm okay with the quarry people doing their thing. Why are you... Oh, because there's wood over there, so they're picking it up. Alright, makes sense. Yeah, it should be able to switch over to... It's gonna go take a nap. Alright, pastel. Sheep well. <laughs> hey, pass it Oh. Oh, you're good. Alright, so hopefully we've got more people moved in. Hobbies are done. I mean, not hobbies. Houses are done. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, now it's taking a while for it to reset the viewer count. It's all good. It's all good. Start building up this way, I guess, for the Forester. Now realizing what I have done, I should have probably started building here 
and then industry over here then everything else up that way but you know it's whatever it's all good everybody back so i know we're we're back in live but i'm just wondering if yeah. <clears throat> you think so all right oh man this is it, it's annoying that I kind of fucked over where my where I'm placed. That's all right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right, and these people can cut the trees. Well, the cool people are still here. I I hope so. I'm just kidding. Yeah. You guys are all cool. Okay, that's an empty cave. All right, good. So the only way to remove these rock or the rocks and whatnot is to have iron for tools to have rock uh, removal happening. Ordering Chinese for dinner. Huzzah. Yas. I'm always down for Chinese. It's my favorite. Alright, there we go. And then we could have the forester up in here. What am I getting? It's a uh, called on the menu to the place that we get it's called uh, Singapore with rice noodles but it's like Singapore made fun so it's got rice noodles with vegetables cabbage uh, onion some other ones that I haven't quite paid attention to uh, beef shrimp and chicken with curry <laughs> really good all right, so now we can build this. Let's tuck you. We're a small village. Continue. Yeah, it's really good. And for what they have priced, it's also really good as well. So it's worth it. Let's put you there. <clears throat> also this would be a good place to have farms once we actually move over here have like a city center type of thing over here for a district over here is also good there are lots of good places for residential and whatnot but we'll see how far we get by the time you know time runs out there we go my stream on my end froze for a second <clears throat> all right so now we're getting passive passive lumber and whatnot so that's good now we can focus on other things like farming so we could build a granary Actually, let's build some wells while we're out and about doing stuff. Put it here. And put another one here. Might as well. Eventually, we're going to have to get uh, walls and defenses up. But right now, well, the first attack that usually comes by is a dragon. And the first time they come around, they generally don't do anything. They just kind of fly around and then you know, fuck off. Um, but the next time they come back after X amount of years, it's a lot. It's like 16 years or something like that, 20 years. It's 10.06 p.m. for you. Wow. So it's around 4-ish for me then. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds about right. It's been almost two hours of me starting stream anyway, even with the waiting. <laughs> But, uh, 
So the dragon shows up first, and then the second time it comes by, it attacks. So the best way to go against those are archer towers. Hi, Dilla. Shh, I haven't seen you in a very long time. Also, I don't... Yeah. Hope you're doing well. How are you doing? I, I just asked that. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Right, so one of the things that I want to get is a windmill, but it costs gold, so we need a treasure room. Kind of as soon as possible, but it's not a thing right off the bat that we need. Time zones and different lifestyle, but yeah, it's been some time. It has, definitely, for sure. Alright, so we got that. Uh, well done. Everything's done. We got six people on idle, so... A good thing to do probably is actually small granary to start with. We can put it over here. Or how about we build You doing alright? Alright, sounds good. Glad to hear. And then we could put it here or along this side here. It doesn't matter exactly. I'm, I'm one of those people where I have OCD where I want the front doors or whatever to be aligned with a road. <clears throat> and then also generally facing what it's, you know, helping with. So like the greenery facing this way. Like that. And then also we could get a bigger granary as well. But that requires quite a bit of wood. But it can store a lot of food. And there's also there are also produce storage, which is just the orchard, quite frankly. So you and also there's another thing, swine herds. They're okay, but they take up a lot of wheat, like a lot of wheat. Well, oh yeah, Caesar too. Isn't that in the same vein as like the uh, Pharaoh games? I think it was called. Yeah, Pharaoh. In that old isometric, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's very similar to how this is. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Sorcerer Dave play it. <clears throat> On YouTube, of course. I He streams at very different times than I'm usually awake for. Hey, Kitty, how are you doing today? I've seen that you've been around, but I, I didn't want to shout you out of, you know... You're busy. Okay, we need houses. We need peoples. So we got people working in the granary now. Granary workers, let's put you up by the farms. Um, the next big house that we could get is a cottage. Can hold up to 12 people. It has two heads of household. Bringing food and charcoal to the home. So yes, we need charcoal next. But the next best place to put it would be up here. <clears throat> this requires wood, of course. So, as far as that goes, let's put it um, over here. Should be good, yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Then after that, I'll do stockpiles and kind of have them close to the keep or even close by these. Hmm, I don't know. And also, yeah, nice nice thing about this game for sure is that you can just, I mean, you could speed it up and whatnot if you wanted to, but I like doing just have it on the slowest speed and have it do its thing. It's also a good game to have like something in the background for. Half hour. <laughs> yeah, it's easy it's easy to talk to, you know, certain people on chat. Or in chat. Um, let's get actually if we're gonna be doing stockpiles, let's get I'm 
wondering how to do these like neighborhood type of things. So we could have a road go here and have hovels facing this direction and then like cottages over here. Why not? Okay, so. What's everybody doing then? <laughs> let's get yeah let's do that and then we can put a second one here when we have the time to or when we are available to well, these people yeah only a few houses need charcoal left actually I think we have enough stuff we could get a yeah, you got a treasure room. Over here, we could actually have the blacksmith. Actually, it'd be easy. it'd be better at the blacksmith by the iron, so that's what they rely on most of the time. Yeah, that makes sense. Average happiness. Alright, those two people can actually make farms. And the reason why I build the farms in this kind of way is because if you put a windmill in the middle, all the adjacent farms are more efficient. So that's why what I've been doing. But And also windmills don't affect orchards. So that's another reason why I generally go towards farms rather than orchards but orchards produce even i think i think it produces 12 by default without any help whatsoever well these start off with plus six food and then with the help of the windmill to plus nine so orchards are always better but still i like doing these more oh and then also these are on very fertile lands as well so um, I think they get a plus two bonus at least to that. Oh, only plus one. These started smaller because the harvest wasn't a full one. So yeah, anyway. And then in here, I'll probably build the town square. So that'll take up the whole thing. Actually, that's perfectly planned. Nice. Three jobs? I have no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Actually double booked myself on shift sometimes holy crap dude why i mean i get why life has needs and sometimes you just need to do that but good god i had to dash off for lunch break lunch breaks and went and did my other shift wow oof that's something <clears throat> all right let's do a town square actually it's got a big radius oh shit no Demolish that. OCD kicking in. Flag facing into the town. There we go. <laughs> young and arrogant. No, you're young and crazy. <laughs> um, I think the most jobs I ever worked was two. And they were both part-time, so it wasn't like, you know, all that hard, I guess. And they were easy. One of them was at Arby's, and the other one was at a place called Precision Assembly that made the circuit boards that I've talked about before. But uh, <clears throat> I did it for like the last month of working at Arby's. So I and they put me at closing shift. Fire started. No, I just built it. Damn it! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Damn. These little dudes with buckets on their head. See? Well, water cubes, more like. They're just water cubes. <laughs> and buildings can burn down. Uh, depending on how damaged they are, you can repair them, or you just have to completely make a new one. Ah, <laughs> oh, water cubes the best water? Um, I mean, I guess in this game it is. 
We'll have to put another well, like, right here or something like that. Reminds me of those edible water bottles they tried to develop years ago. Huh. I've never heard of that. <clears throat> edible water bottles. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, eco-friendly probably, but... Yeah, I was going to say, but that's plastic, unless it's like, hey, have strawberry-flavored water bottle with your water, you know? <laughs> You know, it's like, oh, new flavor, sour, like watermelon or something like that with your water. <laughs> uh, that, that'd be so weird. What a world we would live in for something like that. Yeah, I mean, okay. An edible gelatine. So water bottle jello, pretty much. Probably, I mean, obviously not like that, but, you know, it's a bit more solid than that. But, man, that's just weird. <laughs> Alright, so we got maximum people again. We got eight idle people. So let's actually do a treasure room. So we can get some money. Tax our, you know, people, our homeowners. There we go. Yeah. Imagine having... So kids are already, like, just children are just already bad with getting their hands all messy and whatnot. They weren't bottle-shaped. They reminded me, basically, of those water droplets and bugs. Oh, okay, I see. But still. Yeah, there, there are many reasons why the gen... Like, even if they were to come out as a trial, the general populace would be like, uh, no. We're not gonna do that. <clears throat> I would guess, anyway, because that's just messy. That's, uh... I mean, it would be better than, like, the dog getting to it and having shredded plastic all over the place, I guess, but then, you know, the dog could get sick, maybe. Huh? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I just had an image of a kid, like, playing in the mud and the dirt. It's like, oh, I'm thirsty, let's have this, you know, droplet kind of thing, and they, like, you know, eat it, and they've got, like, this dirt and shit, leaves or whatever, in their fucking water as they... <laughs> wow. And they complain about it, and the parent's like, I told you not to do... <laughs> I told you not to do that when your hands are dirty. Wash your hands before you have some water. Oh, God. Me having had been a parent, that'd be... Oh, that'd be a pain in the ass. Just saying. Okay, so we get the we have the treasure room. Let's tax our people a little bit, maybe. Five percent. It does five percent increments. There's, come on, kids, eat your water, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh god, that'd be so that. Oh. It's on another level. I. Yeah. All right, tax collectors. These. Um, how how would these also work? I'm sure people have figured it out. Is that when you have builders and whatnot doing their thing, it takes from the bottom and goes up. And as far as tax collectors go, since they're at the bottom, like, you know, pretty much at the bottom, whenever you want something built, they get taken out so that you don't get any money. So I'm going to be a greedy bastard and put these under builders because why the fuck not? Do you have chewy water now too? But that weird bubble thing and so on. Oh, really? Chewy water. Maybe I haven't been looking hard enough, but I haven't seen any. Chewy water ice? I mean, true. But some of these things require us to pay it gold so that it could do its, you know, just how the world works, you know, real life and shit. So, yeah. I'm just trying to think of what else to do right now. Stockpiles, that's what it is. Let's get another cottage on the go. Right here. And luckily these people don't complain about having their houses too close to people, because they like neighbors. Here, has neighbors. They have, you know, increased happiness with that, so. 
And then I think the next milestone for a town or village, whatever, is at... It's either 50 or 75. I don't remember. Back in the days of enjoying seeing other people. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I've I've become uh, agoraphobic just because of... I mean, I've gained a lot of weight, so I'm very self-conscious of it, so I don't go outside much, to be honest. Before the accident and whatnot, and before I put on weight, I was fine with going out and doing things, but now I'm just like, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'll just stay at home. And then also until we get the other things that require us to pay it, like to keep it going, uh, we'll be having a surplus, and then we can use that towards, you know, windmills, which will help. It's 15 gold. Holy Christ. That's a lot. Takes wheat and charcoal and turns it into bread. Stores the bread until it is eaten. That's actually pretty good. A baker. I've never put a baker down before. Um, yeah. This is our closest iron. So we'll definitely be having blacksmith around here, probably. And we'll have to build some dock and whatnot to be able to put a quarry here. Which is fine. All right. High chance of water, right? I mean, of uh, high chance of water. Yes, it is raining. Um, let's put you here. Yeah, here seems good. And yes, uh, as you see there, my YouTube channel has pretty much turned more into a VOD channel now. At this point, um, I will be probably starting Let's Plays again at some point. I just don't know when. Um. So, yeah. But if you have missed previous streams or if you had to leave early for, for one and you want to watch the rest of it, I put the VODs up on YouTube. Um, I do very minimum editing, so if it looks like shit, too bad. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not very good at editing one and two. I'm not going to put the effort into it. It is just a stream, so it's nice to be able to put stuff up and whatnot. But yeah, so... If you like to, please subscribe, um, and also put your comments down, depending, you know, how you feel. Another good thing to do to increase happiness would be a tavern, which I'm guessing if we were to go to this advisor here. Oh, they don't have anything to say. Fair, okay. Um, a tavern would be good. We could put it over here, actually. And I believe that takes some of the food and stores it, you know, because that's where people eat and whatnot. So, yeah. We almost have enough gold for a, for a windmill. Yeah. So this coming year, I'll put one in. <clears throat> and actually, I've been pretty proud. I've been... Some decent food, I guess. Windmill first, because they're the windmill workers. And then... A fishery next, potentially. Fishing hut, same thing. Could do that. Wait, do we not have docks? I thought there was a way to be able to... Oh, right. Maritime. Duh. Yeah, there's a pier and bridge. Drawbridge, stone bridge. Yeah, okay, there we go. And a dock. And transport ships to put things on. I've never actually gone into these very often. Oh, a troop transport ship. Okay. I've seen their updates and whatnot. They're planning on making this multiplayer eventually. So then you can trade with people, you know, dick around and have like a PvP type of thing, make your own battles in a history type of thing. Which is cool. Um, not my cup of tea whenever I just want to do something like this because sometimes I can have like I don't know. I guess that's a sore loser for me. Where it's like, okay, somebody's better at a game than I am. I'm just here chilling, relaxing, base building, you know, doing stuff. And then you just come in and just blow me out of the water and kick my ass. And it's just like, no, I was having so much fun and then you ruined it. So sometimes whenever it comes to certain multiplayer games, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't want to. But, you know, it happens. Minus one, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So this will help with the food. We could build another farm here very easily. 
or another, you know, patch of that that I like doing. Since this is barren, I might just cover it up with a road, to be honest. Or have road go here and then just place a granary there at some point when we need it. The small ones, I believe, add 200 food storage and then the large ones, like 500. So yeah, good shit. What do you need left? 19 wood and 3 stone. That's another reason why we need stockpiles, because they keep grabbing it from here and bringing it down. So yeah, definitely next thing would be stockpiles then. Place them a bit closer to here so the stockpile builders and stockpile people can just go from, you know, a closer location and bring it. And sadly, like, this is the best I've probably played this game at the moment just because I'm taking my time with it. Whenever I'm playing by myself or in the past in general, I just place a lot of houses down, then not enough farms because I like the industry of these games. That's my favorite thing is for industry. And then just go with that and end up totally screwing myself over. This doesn't make it any fun at all. All right, so let's do some... We could do... Mm, we could do that. Let's start with small ones for now. And then get bigger ones the, when we actually need them. When it comes to that. Let's do that and then... Here. Is this stockpile here will collect the charcoal, the wood, and the iron when we get it. So that'll be nice. And also I realized that I've been saying this wrong. It's granary, not granary. Because there's no I in it. It's, I don't know. I don't know if it's an American thing or it's just how I heard it growing up. So that's how I said it. That's granary, not granary. So next thing for a castle build anyway that we would need is a chamber of war. So that we could get barracks. Yeah, one of those weird old English words, I think. Yeah, definitely it is. Well, because you store grain in it, and that's what it was for, so it's easy to just go with a granary. But, you know. Um, and then also an archer school to help with that. But archer towers are nice. We could go with the wood blocks and whatnot, but obviously they burn. So when the dragon comes by or when Vikings show up, I think they also torch things or they just steal things. I don't remember. But these are the best, but they cost a lot. They're a lot. Which is alright. That's how they balance the game, and it's meant to be that way. Yeah, old English, man. I don't get it. So, you can change the amounts of these if you want. But 900 is plenty. Oh, there's still wood over here, so the stockpilers are picking it up and taking it to this. Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's fine. So I kind of want this this bit of area, I guess, to be the, the castle kind of area. Let's try something else. Let's actually do the baker. I've never done the baker before. Where can we put you? Over here, I guess. Also, you can upgrade uh, your stone or your roads to stone roads so the peasants can move faster. I'll do that when it comes to newer places, just because, obviously, at this point, they cost gold as well. Five stone and five gold, which isn't a lot, per se. Oh, wow. They're... I mean, it looks like a lot of wood, but it's only 58, apparently, of 900. I mean, which is still pretty good. I'm all right with that. All right, Baker. How much does it use, though? That's my thing. How much does it use? I mean, I guess it turns wheat into bread, so it's still food. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. It's like, yes, these, these buildings hold more... Yeah, and they've got the town square happiness thing now as well. Yeah, they're 
they're good. The tavern will obviously bring that up a bit more. I might put the tavern... I mean, I still like the idea of having it here because it's close by the houses. I believe it's also got a big range like the town square does. And we're getting a decent amount of gold as well. I don't usually increase it until the happiness is roughly around like 80. Again, just so that it doesn't keep dropping. Oh wait, if we got a marketplace, they'll be able to bring things to the market. That includes food and materials and whatnot. And also it'd be closer for these guys to grab it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just needs charcoal now. So it's... Oh, four bread per one wheat and one charcoal. That's actually pretty good con conversion. Wow. I don't know why I've never tried that before. Also, it doesn't give you the statistic when you actually have it in the menu here. It just tells you what it does, but not exactly what it converts to or whatever. That's pretty good. I like that. Where is it? Oh, it's in food, right. So the small market. Carry extra food and charcoal to the market to create easy access for heads of households. Same thing with this. Oh, and the market workers go out to that, so then, yeah, okay. Let's do a small one for, oh, that's a tiny one. What's the biggest one like? Ooh. Fancy? Yeah, let's do the big one here, actually. That'd be cool. Let's put it here. Yeah, there we go. And that can start going up, and then I believe these workers... We'll pick it up. Should anyway. And then those two extra people can act can do the uh, well. Also getting another charcoal maker would probably be a good idea. I think it was back in my like early YouTube days. This this may have been one of the games that I wanted to uh, do a let's play on, but it just couldn't handle it. This is like, how old is that thing now at this point? Had it in high school, so about 10 years. What? Why? Why didn't nobody see it fit? You have everything that you ever want, unless people are bitching about not having a uh, tavern. Nope. Okay. Well, let's just build a tavern then, I guess. At this point, everybody has jobs then? Yeah, looks like it. Wait, why are there no quarry workers? Hmm. Gib Tavern, yeah. 15 market... Marketeers? Holy crap. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put you down here. Bounce it out a bit. Holy crap. Fuck. Yeah, you could do events as well. So festival for 50 gold, it increases the happiness. Increases it for three for an X amount of time. I don't remember how long it is. It's not very long. Oh, I guess in game it's actually quite long. Because the years go by pretty quickly if you, you know think about it. Well, I guess I have to do a tavern then. That's the only other way to make this sort of working, you know. There we go. Um, how would it be? Actually, over here would it be good. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just do it there, like I planned. I didn't realize there were that many people working at the frickin' market. Good God. So I'll store food, charcoal, fish, uh, produce, which is the orchard stuff, and pork. How's the health of this stuff? Fruits? And, yeah, because we don't have any, so of course it's going to be just at 0%. Okay. And also probably a variety of food they want as well. 
We'll see how the tavern does. I'm planning on doing a fish fishing hut at some point anyway. But also I need to remember to How do you have I think since I turned off advisors, they literally don't say anything even if you go in and ask them about it. Which is weird. Is it just disables the exclamation point being over the keep pretty much? There you go, tavern's done. What's our trending happiness going to be? 74. That's actually pretty good. Easiest job in the world, then? What do you mean by that? Oh, advisor of the king. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Apparently. Like, nope. Nothing's wrong. I'm going to hire you on, but never want you to tell me anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. That would be interesting, because it's like, obviously... In history, there are so, like, I don't know, just, if, if there was, act, if there were, act, or was an actual kingdom, or anything related to it, for the different names that could be in it, um, that the advisors are there, but actually haven't really done anything. That would be an interesting perspective on life, I guess. How big is the bridge? Oh, yeah, you just connected. We could have another forester over here, actually, or a forester over there. Not thinking about it. It allows foreign merchant ships to dock. See, that's the thing, too. I mean, like, I don't see anything with foreign anything. Maybe if I place it. There'll just be a passive thing that happens with it. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see, I guess. When we get to that. Allows building on water. Right, so... Oh, that's terrible placement then. What the hell? No, I'll get rid of those. Alright, let's see if I can make that a little bit better. There we go. That's better. That's weird. It's like a block. Oh, it's because of the extended stone underneath. It's like a block and a half instead of just the block. That's annoying. All right, more houses then, because that kind of seems like where we're at right now for these. Yeah. Is wow. Okay. Yeah, more houses for sure. After these are done, let's finish that up. Build another cottage here, I guess. But I was planning on having roads go here. And then we could put another one there, I guess. Hmm. And also having a fire brigade would be pretty good as well. Yeah, they extinguish things three times faster. And they run faster, too. Okay. That'd be nice. You're wondering why you didn't hear anything? What do you mean? Oh, Viking attack happened. Oh, okay. Nine years. All right. On hold music? Huh. I don't know. It's like sometimes it doesn't go on for a little bit. I'm, I'm can. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't here. Eight were kidnapped. Oh, wow. I've never had that happen before. Okay. So it looks like we need a chamber of war.
I was giving you some music for being on hold. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, well, you'd walked away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I have no charcoal? What the fuck happened to my charcoal? Well, I guess being used by the baker, right? There's literally no charcoal. How much are you using? Hmm. Oh, I guess they stole it as well. They steal. Yeah, they came and stole stuff. All right, let's uh make... So we got more people, but there aren't any more idols. Okay, this is where I've gotten in trouble for making too many jobs and obviously not enough people. So let's... Build a manor. Holy shit, that's huge. I mean, obviously, but... I should build it on this side of the world. There we go. Build it there. And then we need... What's your fire? Ooh, pretty high. Let's put a well there when we can. Last couple times I played the dragon attack, well, you know, happened first, not the Vikings, so. After this house, definitely some, uh, Chamber of War. 50 gold. Alright, yeah, we got plenty of these for it. Sweet. <clears throat> How's the market doing, by the way? What you got? Charcoal goes and then just leaves. <laughs> We're brainstorming images for a YouTube banner. Oh, nice. <laughs> Your girlfriend is video <laughs> vetoing them all. Uh, um, I mean, I could give you a recommendation. If you would like um, if you're fine with uh, putting in commission work or you know asking somebody for commission work the person who did my uh, banner uh, one of our peasants died in a wood cutting accident oh no yeah but the uh, one who designed my logo to begin with and also my YouTube banner and everywhere else. He does like a bundle for him. Oh, V will do it for you? Oh, okay, cool. Never mind. Yeah, no problem. You just have to pick something. <laughs> All right, so we can get 89 people now at some point when it happens. Never get enough income to pay for stuff, I'll consider doing commissions. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, not V as in Variax. Oh, okay, okay, cool. 
Context. Context, Super Ginge. Context. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no. I was like, V's doing stuff for you? You're going to get thrown in the pit if you ask him to do anything for you, probably. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. All right, we got more people coming in, filling in slots for jobs. <laughs> yeah, and I saw that he uh, took a little break off from Twitch and YouTube, I guess. Looks like he's coming back with uh, that Baldur's Gate evil party. Baldur's Gate 2, right? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> yeah, he's having a break. Yeah, makes sense. He's He works a lot. He works hard. Okay. So, somebody has died. Um, nice, by the way. Um, actually, we're, what's green? Nothing's green. Well, I guess because overall it's an average. Alright, one of my next concerns is the next Viking attack that I need to prepare for. Specifically said, he's not back with that Baldur's Gate playthrough. He's just doing that as a one-off. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll we'll see. All right, so what do you have? Char yeah, charcoal is the problem right now, as far as happiness. Next dragon attack, fourteen years. So the dragon and the Vikings have happened. What? What? Okay, fair enough. I guess I was gone for a little bit. We need more people before we do jobs. I guess at the end of the day, we could have the marketeers sort of, you know, low a little bit. make two of them because we need it <clears throat> so for the dragon attack the best one to do obviously would be for uh, like archer towers is it flies so ground units don't do anything I'm thinking of building a bridge or piers over here and then have a forestry over here for forester. Wolves don't attack foresters, which is good. Yeah. A little under half for the marketeers, but that's fine. They'll go back in. Got a lot of charcoal workers now. Hopefully that can start filling in the gaps a little bit. So eight are being used from homes and four from the baker. Okay, not too bad then. Um, they're getting filled back up. All right, we're good. We're good as far as people with jobs and whatnot. They took our jobs. Yeah, for sure. These guys need, ooh, they need a well, for sure. So after this is done, we'll do so do well project. Yeah, those are pretty good. <laughs> Hello, disembodied arm. Oh! Rebuild! I didn't notice that happened. Oh, 
Oh fuck, I didn't notice that. Okay. And our health is moderate. Want a church or a library? What should we give them? Church or library? So a church keeps peasants from despairing, gladly accepts any donations. And then the library, happiness per knowledge gains knowledge over time. I'm more of a knowledge person than a religious person. <clears throat> so I think we could go with this, probably. Oh, and also the clinic uh, helps, you know, with diseases and shit like that. Hospitals, same thing. <clears throat> but bigger and requires a clinic. You're playing Enigmatica 6? Educate the masses, eat the rich, etc. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I'll do a library then. I've never heard of Enigmatica. Oh, that's the uh, Minecraft mod pack, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, so that house is better. Military training. Uh, let's put you here. Yeah, let's put you there. <clears throat> Pay 50 gold to start up. All military forces inflicted double damage for four time upkeep cost. Oh shit, that's expansive. Nah, I'm good. So now we need a barracks. Oh, ballista now as well, and the moat. Alright, so we got that. Minecraft mod packs. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard of it. I haven't seen anything about it, though. Alright, we need some wells going around. Put you there. Put another one here. I think that's good as far as the wells are concerned. Oh, that one's pretty vulnerable, respectively. Same with that. Okay. Oh, I forgot that the granaries actually open when you click on them. It's a cool little touch. I like it. Yeah, I need to start expanding out this way in general. Yeah, doing fine as far as food is good. As far as food goes. So... Oh, see, that's on fire? What the fuck? Come on. Fire brigade would be good as well. So I think over here we'll have... Like the library... Um, fire brigade... Clinic kind of thing going on here. Next to the town center. Or town square, excuse me. So you got free, one free persons, I guess, in general. So we just need more people now in that case. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Barracks. Create squads of soldiers using idle peasants, gold, and armaments. Oh, right. So we actually need a blacksmith, so we need iron. Damn, okay. So we got some idle people, that's that's good. I prefer idle people than not. <clears throat> so that means all the jobs are filled. <clears throat> so there's our iron. Yeah, blacksmith can chill out. Even over here, thinking about it. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I was thinking of having him originally down here. Or something like that. So he's close to the iron mine, but not, you know, that bad. What do these people want? They have everything pretty much besides what they actually really want, which is the library or the church. What do you need? You have everything. So that means, yeah. Okay. We're good. Master Brewers. Right, I forget. There are, like, it's not like a... Your citizens kind of level up when they have a job, but not like what 
you would think it would do. But it's close enough. Yeah. Reduces iron build near iron ore deposit, right? And then takes charcoal and iron and turns it into tools or armaments, which is what we need. Because we, I want to protect the people rather than making the work easier, I guess. Yeah, we need to build that other thing to make it work. Okay, fair enough. So they're helping out with the building, at least. How much is a clinic, by the way? <clears throat> 10 gold. Eh, not bad. Uh, they're hungry? Oh. Oh, wait, no, deaths. Those are, that's deaths. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, cemetery. Oh, uh, no. <coughs> and I think it's also another thing that if they're too close to a cemetery, they'll be unhappy. Because, you know, oh, we're... Nine peasants have died of plague. Oh, see, look. No. Just pfft, dead there on the ground. Ah, fuck. All right. Fair. All of those... Oh, oh no. Okay. I was doing so good. Let's kind of build it away, sort of. Oh, man. builders yeah sounds about right all right so we got that now wages 24 gold a year Ooh, okay yeah this next Viking raid is not going to be very fun <laughs> don't worry we'll get you cleaned up like literally Yeah, tombstones eventually disappear, so cemetery plots can be reused. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. What does the red mean? What does the red mean? I don't know. Does that mean like they're decomposing? Take two more years. All right. <clears throat> Twenty-four gold a year for the library. How much do you? Oh, I won't say. Yeah, yummies. I know our city is full. I'm trying to, like, please the people a little bit here. I guess I could put a cottage here in the clinic somewheres. So the more hap so the more knowledge that we gain with the library, the happier people get. Okay. It's literally a one to one ratio on it. Okay. That makes sense. Well, I could see why they're freaking dead bodies on the in the streets. <laughs> hey Vikings, when you when you uh come by, can you pick up the dead bodies? And you can use it for your sacrificial stuff oh our health is so low minus 15 dead bodies not being buried quickly enough yeah Ooh. life expectancy now is low because of that oh shit okay 
This is bad. Happiness is still floating somehow above 70. Minus 9, the recent departed are not being shown a res respectful burial. I'm trying, guys, okay? Look, there's a cemetery there. Dig it there. Right? Uh, no, they need the caretakers to pick it up. And then when we get the clinic, we have plague doctors going around and stuff like that, so... And they literally just don't go away. They just sit there for as long as needed. <sighs> so it's a 3x3, three three, so it can hold up to 9 bodies. Yeah, food storage is still... <clears throat> Well, I mean, they're gone now, I guess, it looks like. Yeah, Vikings coming in. From that side, huh? Alright. Well, there isn't much we can do about it at this current point in time. Yeah. <laughs> Tragically, one of our peasants has died under mysterious circumstances. What happened there? <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. Yeah, if we had troops, we'd be able to select the squads that we want to and just have them literally go and wreck them. Look at his beard. Ain't it cute? The hell? Wait, they're... Oh, one is the ship and then two... Okay, I see. Never mind. I was going to freak out, but it's alright. Finally, our happiness is in the green, and then it's like, fuck it. Go steal their boat while they're attacking? That'd be cool. If anything, they could take my food, because I don't have enough storage for it anyway. <clears throat> Fucking sons of bitches. Fire brigade. Yes, I need one. They didn't kidnap anybody. They just, you know. Oh, no, they took some people for sure. They definitely did. It looks like they took, like, two people. Alright, well, we need to build a well here anyway. Build, please. Please. Where did your boat go? What are they doing? <laughs> Wolves, kill, 
Kill them. Kill them. No? Alright, fine. New wives? Yeah, apparently. <clears throat> no one visited this year. Tales of our unsuccessful defense of recent Viking rampages have frightened any visitors away. Well, shit happens, bro. Like, yeah. I want to increase taxes so I can get more money so that I can, you know, do everything else that I need. How much gold do you take a year, by the way? None? Really? That's kind of hard to believe, actually. But that, that's alright, I guess. And yeah, we got actually a bit of charcoal rolling in as well. They're fucking off, it's alright. Probably head to bed. All right. See you, Super Ginge. Thank you for dropping by. I really appreciate it. It was nice to see you. All right. So happiness going back up. Yeah, we just need more people now at this point. Let's do that. I'll get ready for bed and then watch you until I feel like closing my eyes. Alright, sounds good. What are you guys doing? I mean, I guess they're just circling around until so they just go away. <clears throat> Apparently 10 were kidnapped by the Viking raid. All right. Nine more years. So I guess they do every 10 years and it's like every 16 years for the dragon. Yes, I know we have no gold for you. I know. I understand. Let's increase it. That's the only way we're going to get it. One of our peasants unfortunately has drowned. Hmm. Okay. That's so. Yeah, how much gold do you guys take, by the way? Cemetery Keepers, 12. 12 gold. And then we also have to pay for the clinic. <laughs> not good. Not good. What are you trending towards? 71? Alright. So in a little bit, I'll be taking another break for food, for dinner. And then after that, we'll switch over to... Castle Crashers. I had a lot more planned out, but at the same time, I was I'm fine with sticking to one game for a longer time and just chill with it and whatnot. So yeah, and then I had some plans hanging out, playing with some friends today. So we'll be doing that on stream. I'm trying to, guys. Like, I'm really trying. That's a you. Uh, yeah, Kitty, Hawk, and Gilded are going to be joining us. Where's Gilded, by the way? Is he, is he alive? I guess we should ask about... I'm. <laughs> yes, you are that friend. <clears throat> Nine people moved in? All right, sweet. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, Gilded. You're here. Have you been lurking? Thanks for the lurk. <laughs> <laughs> you have been looking. All right, fair enough. Sounds good. Um, ch -ch -ch. Uh. how much money do you ask for? Let's see. Nine. Okay. I guess obviously clinics are considered as uh, hospitals. So I guess at this point we actually just need people. Let's let's also, yeah, we need people so that we can also get um, more farms going to feed those people. <clears throat> Is we're managing just. Finish your playthrough of Bioshock 1? Oh, really? How'd you like it? I started it a few times, but never actually went through with the rest of it. I think I played more of Bioshock Infinite than I have the first one. <clears throat> wait. No, wait, I have actually played through the first one quite a bit, not thinking about it. Been a while, though. I liked it. Sweet. We're a bigger town now. So it's 100 people then for that. Cool. <clears throat> Just fun as I remember, but I'm frustrated I couldn't find all the weapon upgrade machines. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Yeah, usually whenever I play through a game for the first time, I'm not worried about com like completionist type of stuff. And then the first or second time I try to make a goal of what I'm trying to get all of and sort of go from there with it. <clears throat> all right so we're recovering from our viking attack and all that stuff just getting more people to move in is the goal here Right, and a blacksmith. That's another thing I need to get. Alright. Oh, we got a lot of item people now. Holy shit. Okay. Time to uh, farm... Let's do the fishing hut next, I think, actually. It's, it's better at the passive type of food sort of thing going on than other stuff. So yeah, we'll just put it here, I guess, and then he could fish all of that, which is actually pretty good. Or we could move it here. I guess we could have two fisheries going on. Have this just extend more out here than take this up. 
I don't know. You're back? Welcome back. Yeah, because we've also got this stuff, the pier and whatnot, to be able to build it on. So we could actually have it further out here and get all of this. All right, hindsight, action moving. Probably finished his full, like, complete, as in, like, finish the game, probably. <clears throat> Yeah, we need to get a forester over here, so then wood could be here. So obviously there isn't much, if any, at all. getting a lot of vital hands now that's good if that's the case let's have that happen all oh, right because it costs gold to do it it's worth it worth it for the food yeah the only problem is that these things aren't getting the gold no not that the clinic Oh, I see. Okay, fair. What are you guys doing in the water? Please don't tell me you drown. No, they go back up. Okay, good. I was going to freak out. It's like, what? Why are you doing? What are you doing? It's a lot of... Oh, yeah, the marketeers go and take it to everywhere else. Oh, you have an upload in the works? Ooh, right. I need to watch your videos. See what you got up. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the fish right here, and then he can gather, like, most of this over here. Two years for the dragon attack. I mean, the dragon honestly isn't as bad as the Vikings. It just goes around and just burns stuff. I don't know. Okay. Still. It would be nice to watch something else that's one problem that i have i stick to my you know three or four youtubers and just watch them a lot even repeated stuff it's just don't have the time understandable <clears throat> we're at really good happiness <clears throat> this helps a lot with the knowledge we are as smart as we can get. We are at max smartness. 12, 12 knowledge. How are you doing, Baker? Pretty good, actually. <clears throat> Sweet, that's done. <clears throat> yeah, we just need gold. That's our big problem right now, actually, now thinking about it. So what treasure rooms do is that they don't help 
produce the amount of gold. It's just the amount of gold stored. It's going to hold up to a thousand. So that's the literal only thing that it's actually good for when it comes to that. Let's put you there. Yeah, he'll cover all of this. It's nice. And one of our peasants died under mysterious circumstances. Well, it ain't plague. It was a martyr. Just kidding. I don't know. I don't know about that at all. <clears throat> yeah, because the closest wood stock, like, stocking thing is all the way over there. Which kind of sucks actually that's why i think you're doing a forester up there yeah okay dragon's almost upon us let's do what i think we should do it's gonna cost a lot of wood There we go. And probably after this big project, uh, not houses. We've we've got a lot of idle people. They're just busy building right now. <clears throat> I think the next big thing would probably be the. barracks at least <laughs> only one saw fit to stay all right fair enough I wonder if I demolish this, I get the wood back. I think I do. I think so. There we go. Where are you coming from? Over there? Nice. <clears throat> I'm an idiot, don't even have a fire brigade, but they also cost money to have. And there are other things that needed attention. So, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it literally just blows up the houses. Oh, no, it doesn't quite yet. Oh, it does. Fuck. Rebuild. It's like I don't have a home. Give me a house. I mean, if that's it, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Two peasants recently killed by the dragon. Okay. <clears throat> One more wood needs to go there. Fair. There we go. well hmm this person has died of old age okay
Yeah. Minus 25 devastate about the recent dragon attack. Oh. Oof. Trending towards 53. Why? Well, I guess because of the dragon attack. Minus 25, so yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> now four peasants are ill. Great. It's gold for the blacksmith then. All right. Skillet. We have a want to become famous uh, person. on that what the hell what's going on Damn. there we go I can't get rid of it what the fuck no now I can't see chat great oh there we go and then that okay figure it out got it Back to game. Return. <clears throat> Alright, so it's heading back up. Good, good, good. That's almost done. How much gold was the blacksmith again? 75? Wow. Okay. Back in happiness. Oh. Tempted out the gold back. Go back up again. Oh. But, um... My dinner's gonna be here soon, so I'm just save the game. <clears throat>